Coach Fran here, and today I'll be talking about maintaining muscle mass through illness. That was a really important topic that I get asked about a lot. So today we'll go ahead and cover six different aspects of doing so. Now first and foremost, we have to keep our calories high. A lot of individuals are, are scared of gaining body fat, and they go with ridiculously low calorie amounts, which is convenient because their obviously appetite drops significantly low when they're sick. But even though your appetite's significantly low, keep in mind you tell your body when to eat, it doesn't tell you when to eat, and you may have to really push it to get the calories you need to maintain muscle mass, but it is an absolute priority when you're sick to lot not losing muscle mass. And let me ask you a question too, what takes longer? Lo are gaining lost muscle mass or losing gained body fat? The answer is simple. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're keeping our calories high. Second is going to be hydrate and hydrate some more. It is incredibly easy to be dehydrated when you get sick as, as there's so much fluid loss. The bare minimum is typically about a gallon a day, but for someone like myself, it may be as high as two gallons or even more so than that. So just making sure we're drinking as much liquids as possible. Three is going to be keeping protein high. Uh, protein needs actually increase when you're sick, and it's kind of hard to eat protein-dense foods because, for example, a steak, a big juicy steak just doesn't sound good when you're sick. So you may have to get a little creative and, and go with things that you don't traditionally eat, maybe in an omelet, maybe kind of increasing the, the amount of protein you get to supplement, just making sure you have lots of high quality protein sources when you're sick, even if it's not the most appetizing to eat thing to eat when you're sick. Fourth is gonna be keeping healthy fats high. So forming new immune cells takes healthy fats. Healthy fats are required to do so. So even if you have to supplement with some kind of omega-3 supplement, go ahead and do so. Just making sure that omega-3 supplement is an actual good one. So it's not breaking down the stomach. Instead of actually getting to the small intestine where you uh, digest and utilize these nutrients, just making sure that's a really good one that's uh, study proven to work or gone through some kind of third party testing so it actually, so you actually know it's gonna do its job. Fifth is gonna be sticking to lower glycemic index carbohydrates. This is a very important one. Your body's not primed to take in a bunch of simple sugars when you're sick. So making sure you're just going with lower glycemic index options, especially because your, your, your uh, amount of energy you're expending is very low. So even something as simple as replacing your normal pasta with some kind of lentil pasta, things that are high in fiber and are getting digested slowly. Lastly is gonna be micronutrients. So things like vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, glutamine, I know glutamine's amino acid, but still very important, is gonna be all the things that your body needs to bounce back from the illness and keep your immune system healthy and strong. Think about what covers it for this topic. It's Brandon Morton signing out.